So the, the work that uh, is in the exhibition consists of a film that is uh, called Alpi. And it's a, it's a film on the perception of the alpine landscape. So it's not about the landscape itself, it's not uh, on what is happening on the landscape, but maybe how the landscape is used and how the landscape is represented. It's like a, an anti-documentary because you're not explained, never explained where you are. You're just brought from one place to the other continuously with a kind of choreographical uh, editing. By this you have to ask yourself about the perception of, or the cliches that that allow you to identify a specific place or a specific situation. So in this sense, it's not a documentary that explains, but it's a documentary that asks. Let's say what is interesting to me that somehow the whole world and the whole objects that, that we use, but also the landscape, is designed. So uh, there is always somebody that planned the way that we kind of interface to, to, to objects, but to spaces and uh, to landscapes. So what is maybe interesting for me in, in the photography is not only to show, let's say, the result of this, of this designing, but try to, to show also, the, if possible, the, uh, the process that is behind this. For example, here we are in China. In Guilin, in the end, I photographed these places where this recycling takes place. But going through the town, I found this strange cinema screen. So I thought it's a very interesting moment. Also, you still see uh, the architecture from the Mao period, not yet renewed. So for me, it was a kind of in-between space where you would have still this idea of, uh, of a very say analog cinema, but probably they, they project uh, maybe with a, during the evening with a digital projector. Well, but it's more about here also, what is this public space and in which moment of temporality it, it is. It's in between a, a changement. Many of the photos that I do in a certain way are, are very well prepared and uh, normally I, I do a lot of research before going to a place. Also I try always to, um, to collaborate with local experts or specialists or simply person that know the territory very well. Sometimes it's also exchanges with local NGOs or so I try to, to find a way that there, is, there can be also an exchange in the production of, of, the, of the images. And other times, it's uh, like in the film Alpi, it's a collaboration also with, with Piero Zanini, that is an anthropologist. Uh, so in a way that it's possible to have a dialogue and also to test in the group what you're doing and, uh, and try to understand if, you, if it could be even more precise. And this allows you then, when you are maybe in a location, also to improvise completely, because in a certain way you, are, you, um, you have maybe somebody with you that is a kind of, to quote Dante, a kind of Virgilio that brings you around and also helps you to understand the codes that maybe would be impossible to understand while you're there in both ways. One is that when you film or when you photograph, you are part of the space, but you are also changing the space. And this is simply, this is also important to be aware that when, when we film or photograph something, we are changing the space. It's not the normal condition of the space.